feeling this is going to be a weird episode of like the chameleon version of The Biggest Loser. I'm going to be talking to you guys about chameleon weight. What does chameleon obesity look like? What does a skinny chameleon look like? What does a normal looking chameleon look like? And I'm using the words look like intentionally because you have to go off of what the chameleon visually looks like. You can't go off of grams or how much the chameleon weighs because just like humans, what is a healthy weight for one person may not be a healthy weight for another person. And there are smaller chameleons and there are bigger chameleons. And that's just how animals and, and creatures are. So we have to go off of how they visually look. So we'll be going through that. What I most commonly see is an overweight chameleon. Chubby chameleon, fat chameleon, however you wanna think about it. This is a very, very common issue and due to overfeeding in captivity. So there are like three, three different, I don't wanna say symptoms, um, characteristics. Three characteristics of an overweight chameleon. Number one being a puffy cask. So a lot of people think this is normal, but it's not. A chameleon's head, the top of their head, is called their cask, and it should actually be flat, say on a panther chameleon. It should be very, very flat, and I'll put up pictures on the screen. So I'm gonna show you an example of a healthy looking chameleon that has a flat cask, so put that on the screen here. And now I'm gonna do a comparison of showing you what an unhealthy chameleon looks like that has a puffy cask, where the top of their head is actually rounded. This is where the chameleon is storing an excess of fat and where they're holding their fat. So this can actually be a symptom or characteristic, I'm not sure which word to use for that, of an overweight chameleon. Now say you have a veiled chameleon, they have a tall cask, but an overweight veiled chameleon will have a puffy cask. Instead of it being nice and narrow and skinny, it'll be rounded and you can see on the sides and even on the back of the cask that'll be rounded and puffy. This can be, um, this, this is definitely a sign that your chameleon is overweight. Same if it's in the cheeks. Um, I'll see that sometimes people will have like puffy rounded cheeks. This is an overweight chameleon. We don't want that. The other sign is they just have like chubby, beefy looking arms. Chameleons should have very bony, very angular bones. If it's rounded or puffy, then that can be a sign of an overweight chameleon. And lastly, if there aren't any visible bones, if you can't see any ribs, if you can't see any spine bones or tail bones or anything like that, that is a sign of an overweight chameleon. And we'll get into that a little bit more when we talk about what a healthy weight, what a healthy chameleon looks like, but those are some characteristics of an overweight chameleon. So the main reason for a chameleon being overweight or gaining weight, is just like humans, overfeeding. We're feeding our chameleons too much. And for us humans, food, equals love. We don't want our chameleons to go hungry. We want to give them all the treat bugs. We want to feed them every single day. This is why <laughs> you have an overweight chameleon. Also could be because you're using feeders that are high in fat or considered treat bugs, which would be like wax worms, super worms, um, mealworms, hornworms, all those should be considered treat bugs and not something that you're regularly feeding your chameleon. So Think about it in the wild, chameleons are not eating on a daily basis. They can go days, if not weeks, without food. I've actually had Neptune go on a hunger strike where I didn't feed him for two weeks until he gave in to eating his dubia roche. So your chameleon's totally fine once they're an adult, which is when we see obesity in chameleons, to cut back on their food. If you have a chameleon that is overweight or obese, not only is that increased risk for other health issues developing, it's more stress on their organs and bones, just think of it like humans, an overweight human is going to have more health problems and more stress on their body for their organs to have to function, decrease lifespan, increase health risk. You know, I'm not gonna speak on that, but those same, same, those same things are true for a chameleon. One other thing to mention for females is an overweight chameleon is going to have a harder time to lay eggs because her fat pads are gonna be big and that's going to be less room for her eggs to be in there for her to then have to lay them so that can be an issue and i've read that overweight chameleons can have a decreased lifespan so we don't want that if you have a chameleon that is from a hatchling to three months old then you'll want to feed them every day as much as they can eat two times a day once in the morning once in the afternoon once your chameleon is three months to i want to say hmm, let's go like six months for a female, eight months for a male, then you'll want to feed them once a day in the morning, 10 to 15 bugs, depending on the size of the feeder. And then once your female chameleon hits around six months, 
then you want to start feeding her two to three bugs every two to three days to help decrease her clutch sizes. An obese chameleon will lay more eggs than a chameleon that's kept leaner, so in order to decrease the amount of stress on the female during the egg laying process, we wanna feed her less food. For a male chameleon, I would recommend start cutting them back on food probably closer to eight months to a year, somewhere around there, depends on the chameleon. And I feed my guys every two to three days, two to three bugs, depending on the size of the feeder. And that seems to be working well for my guys and keeping them a nice, lean, healthy weight. When we're talking about putting our chameleon on a diet, it's helpful to weigh your chameleon. I have a whole video on how you can weigh your chameleon, so I'll link that up above here and in the description box below. But that way you can track their progress and make sure that they're dropping weight. Start cutting back on their food. Make sure you're using foods that are feeders that are low in fat. So like dubia roaches, um, crickets, silkworms, black soldier fly larvae, those would all be great, strong, healthy feeders and cut back on the treat bugs. That way your chameleon can start to lose weight at a healthy rate. On the other side of the spectrum, we have a underweight chameleon. Some symptoms of an underweight chameleon is that they have a very um, skinny cask, too skinny in my opinion. You can see their cheekbones, their eyes are sunken in, they have a visible tailbone. Um, on the, the back side of their body. Their elbows are super, super bony. They basically just look like a dehydrated piece of fruit. You know, like you can get like dehydrated um, or freeze-dried apple. It's basically looking like a freeze-dried chameleon where someone can just like sucked out all the good stuff and left you with the remnants of a chameleon. It, it's just, and I'll put a video on the, I think I have a video, a video on the screen of a skinny chameleon. You can see the stark difference this can sometimes be the result of parasites. So if you do have a chameleon that is underweight, I highly suggest that you get a fecal test done. This could also be the result of improper nutrition or not being fed correctly. And it also could be the result of incorrect husbandry. So and, and yeah, like, uh, therefore you have a sick chameleon. So in order to combat a skinny chameleon, I would increase the food that you're feeding to the amounts that I suggested earlier. I would get a fecal test done. I would double check that your husbandry is correct with a proper UVB, supplementation, things like that. And just one thing to note is that sometimes baby chameleons can give some symptoms of what are considered a skinny chameleon. This isn't uncommon. Just make sure that you're feeding your chameleon regularly as they're a baby so that that can help them grow. Okay, and let's talk about some characteristics of a healthy weight chameleon. So you want that nice flat cask. You want nice plump round eyes. It's totally normal to see the outline of ribs on your chameleon and even the spine bone for your chameleon. A lot of people think like, oh my gosh, I can see their ribs, they're too skinny. That's actually a healthy weight for a chameleon. You want a lean chameleon. A leaner chameleon is gonna live much longer than an overweight or skinny chameleon. You want that happy middle. But the biggest indicator for a healthy weight chameleon is that nice flat cast on a panther chameleon or a Jackson's chameleon or a Parsons chameleon. And then on a veiled chameleon, you want a nice lean cask. It should be, you know, flat going down the sides. Thank you to everybody who submitted your pictures for this video. I hope this gives you some insight into what an overweight, underweight, and healthy weight chameleon looks like. And you can use this to best judge if you should be feeding your chameleon less, if you should be feeding them more, or just sustain the amount of food that you're feeding them now. And keep in mind, the nutrition of the bug is just as important, so make sure that you're feeding your bugs um, the appropriate fruits and vegetables, you're using the appropriate supplementation, you're using the appropriate UVB, all those factors into a healthy chameleon. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave me any questions or comments down below. Feel free to subscribe so you know when I post a new video and you can follow Neptune and all my chameleons on Instagram at Neptune the Chameleon. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye! I feel like this is gonna be like a... Oh. Uh.